welcome to another edition of This Week in YouTube, the show that's been dead for a while already, but just arranged to meet up with you here. Wake up, brother. I'm Lon Harris. And I'm Judalina Nera. Our top story this week, a Tyrannosaurus Rex threw out the opening pitch at a Memphis Redbirds minor league baseball game. Like 98% of all professional baseball pitchers, this one comes from an island off the coast of Costa Rica. The T-Rex was initially recruited by a Japanese baseball league, but he kept randomly stomping the hell out of Tokyo and picking fights with Mothra. Old habits, I guess. Long-running fantasy TV series Lost came to an end this week, and the creators went on Jimmy Kimmel Live to show off some of their alternate endings. Hey guys. I think I figured out the secret to the eye. Fortunately, the real lost ending finally did reveal the true nature of the island. Turns out it was a cheap plot device all along. Man, I really didn't see that coming. They got me. They got me. What took the lost writer six seasons to establish? These cats get through in about one minute. I'm giving up a respectable career as a spinal surgeon to protect a light from a cloud. Seriously. Dude, I managed to get fatter on a deserted island. Dude. My baby! Checks my brother. My baby! Admittedly, it's a lot easier to come up with a good ending to the cat version. You can just play them off. wanted to raise your own sea monkeys but don't know how to start, Natalie is here to help. Basically this thing contains, um, uh, you get a little container to put your sea monkeys in and you know, little directions, you get a little water purifier, you know, the kind of Walt Disney frozen in time but add water and poof, they're live eggs. What Natalie doesn't mention is that every container of sea monkeys also comes pre-packaged along with a disappointed child's crushed expectations. Yes, it's true. Because they're just tiny brine shrimps, sea monkeys are only capable of basic activities like swimming in circles and leaving YouTube comments. Lindsay Lohan faced tough questions after the release of a photo of her at what appeared to be a cocaine party. Was that cocaine in those photographs? I literally was walking back to my room with a few of my friends. Um, after doing press for my movie, which I was in Cannes for in the first place, called Inferno, I was with um, some of the producers that I work with. They went back into my room, and the director as well. I stopped in someone's room because someone came out of the room and said, could you just take a picture with me really quickly? So I went into the room, took a picture, and then I left the room. Hang on, hang on, I'm lost, I'm lost. Okay, she came out of the room, and then she went back in? No, she was with the producers who came out of the room, but she went into the room, I think. I'm totally lost. Can we get some help here? I didn't, I wasn't looking around the room. I was, I, I just thought I was taking a picture of the fan, and I, I recently have heard about these photos, um, and no, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what was in the room. It's none of my business was in the room. I was taking a picture with the fan, which I think anyone would have done in that situation. Lohan agreed to do the interview because there's nothing like incoherent defensive rambling to convince people that you aren't on drugs anymore. Lindsay's speaking style actually has a lot in common with the Lost writers. She starts sentences without having any idea how they're going to end. And that does it for This Week in YouTube. Be sure to check out more episodes and a whole lot of other great shows on thisweekend.com. For Lon Harris, I'm Judalina Nero, watching YouTube so you don't have to. Oh, hey, Judalina. It's about time you got here. Why weren't you in the production meeting this morning? I was totally going to come, but then I was with my producers, and they went into this room, and then someone asked me to come in the room, and then they told me I should stay in the room, and then someone in the room asked me to take a picture, which, of course, I did because any normal person would do. So then I sat down in the room, but then I was going to leave the room, but... Um... You know what? Just, just forget it. It's okay.